Hey guys, what's up today? I'm going to show you in the smooth freeze frame transition for your music video. So, without wasting any time, let's jump into it. Yo, we're back in After Effects, so I'm going to show you how to make the smooth transition in here. So, I already have my two clips ready. Now, what I'm going to do is just duplicate the second clip by hitting Ctrl D. Once you duplicate your clip, on your top click, right click, and go to time and freeze frame. So, it creates a still image of our subject like that then i'm gonna drag my kill clip a bit forward so the video start a bit only and just cut the end so we we have a still image before the videos plays then what i'm gonna do is go to my toolbar and select the pen tool and just select out my subject your selection doesn't have to be perfect just get the basic stuff right and you will be good to go Once you have your subject cut out, you will get this uh, ugly little transition. Then select your cutout layer and hit P to bring up your position. Go to the first frame. Go to the first frame and hit the stopwatch icon. Then you will get a keyframe like this. Then what you want to do now is go full frame forward. One, two, three, four. And in the corner, just hit the keyframe icon again. The then it will create a new keyframe. Go to a beginning keyframe and make it out of frame so we don't see that. So you will get this cool little animation like this. Hit toggle switches and modes and just enable the motion blur. So you will have motion blur coming up. Then in the cutout layer, hit the control D to duplicate your layer one time. Hit P to bring up your position and hit the stop was icon to cancel all of those keyframes. Hit M to bring up your marks and just delete the marks. And put this layer below your cutout layer. So we have background isolated from our subject. What you want to do now is go 5 frame forward by hitting paste down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then cut the layer. Once you cut to layer, hit S to bring up the skin and just scan it down. I'm gonna go with 44 and hit the stopwatch icon in here. Then, and then go to the position and go a bit further. Make a keyframe again and go into your last keyframe. Just make it out of frame like I'm doing. Now you'll have this quick little animation and then go then hit paste down two times to move over to frame and put it down again. So it slides down and I'm gonna reset it right here. So it will look like this. So it looks like it bounces off. If that makes sense. Then once you do that, hit R to bring up your rotation and keyframe that too. When it hits the frame, you just wanna bring up the rotation. Then go a bit further and just make it to zero. So you will have this cool little bouncing effect. Then hit S to bring up your skin for the last time and just and then go where all of your keyframes start to reset. Then make a key a new keyframe by hitting here and move a bit and set it to 100 so you will have this cool little transition i'm gonna move it one same forward i'm also gonna play with the keyframes of this so it is a bit faster once you do the, all of those stuff your animation will look like this then enable your subject layers so you can see the final effect like that and then hit U to bring up all of your keyframes and just select all of your keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those so the animation is a bit smoother I think I'm gonna extend the rotation keyframe so it lasts long then you will have your effect almost ready but I'm gonna add a little bit sauce into here so I'm gonna so I'm gonna right click and make a new adjustment layer right here and add a as sick i'll add a sapphire sick from the sapphire plugin bag then then go few frame forward when it kills up i'm gonna animate the amplitude to zero to one and then back back zero lower down the frequency to five i guess then in motion blur i'm gonna enable that and 
I'm gonna up the value a little bit more amplitude a bit a little bit more I'm gonna decrease frequency more to like 3 I guess I guess that looks fine and then we have our sick I'm gonna quickly add a brightness and contrast in here to make that class then I just animate the brightness and contrast and I got the rest effect. So if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And also follow me on Instagram. So, so see ya later. Bye.